Good evening, Central. This is Pastor Matthew coming to you with this week's Friday update. And this is an invitation and a reminder heading into the weekend of the things that are going on in the life of the church. We do want to invite you to come and to worship with us at 815 for our traditional service, 1030 contemporary service with Sunday school at 930 in between those. Uh, we would love to see you Sunday. We know that if you're uh, still not feeling comfortable getting out and about among people, we still have our worship services live streamed and uh, almost all of our Sunday school classes going hybrid at the moment. So you can still participate with us and would love for you to be able to do that and stay connected both with your church family and with, uh, with Christ, with one another. A couple of things I want to mention as we prepare uh, to move into the coming week. Starting this Sunday, we are uh, beginning our school supply drive for Bonnie Grimes Elementary School. It's it's on the uh, the bulletin, which is already on the website uh, at cmcrogers.com slash bulletin. And uh, we're, we're starting uh, to collect these items. Composition notebooks, scissors, dry erase markers, glue sticks, pencil boxes, uh, earbuds, disinfectant wipes. We're... Uh, we've got a lot of a lot of stuff uh, that we are able to collect, uh, and and gratefully so to be able to serve our neighbors around us. So please uh, keep that in mind. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, going to last over three weeks, and so you uh, you've got time uh, to um, to to bring those in uh, before we're done collecting them. But just want to keep that on your radar as we head into the weekend. The other thing I want to mention is that uh, this coming Wednesday, we're having our One Wonderful Wednesday, except this time it's going to be called One Welcoming Wednesday. And the name change is because the whole event is being used in order to welcome both uh, Pastor Rob Hollifield and, uh, and our new choir director, John Bell, into the life of the church and as a part of our staff. And so we would love for you to come and join us. Uh, there will be food, there'll be games, there'll be opportunity for uh, talking and visiting and fellowship with one another, including our uh, newest additions to the life and leadership of the church. And so we'd love for you to join us on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, the 21st of July from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. So please um, mark your calendars and please come and join us. I want to mention one other thing before uh, before I close the video, and just to mention that, uh, like you, we are aware of what's going on in the state of Arkansas around COVID, and particularly the Delta variant uh, that is uh, is seeing some some increase in the number of cases uh, these days, and uh, we want you to be aware that uh, that Central's uh, COVID strategic task force has been meeting again and keeping an eye on what's going on and, uh, and just trying to, uh, to pay attention and uh, to uh, advise the church on the best things, best practices uh, going forward. And uh, one of the things that, uh, that, that came out of that meeting was just a, 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 a desire to continue to pay attention to what the CDC is asking us to do. And so in that vein, I just wanna remind you of a few of the things that, uh, that we continue to, uh, to ask of you. We're not out of the woods yet, uh, but uh, if you're vaccinated, masks are optional. If you're unvaccinated, we, we strongly encourage you to wear a mask, uh, wash your hands, um, simple things like that. If you can be physically distanced uh, from people outside of your household, that, that would be uh, best as well. Um, and if you uh, start to feel uncomfortable in being in person with us, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you've got uh, you've got online hybrid options in order to worship with us and to participate in meetings and discipleship opportunities in the life of the church. And so we invite you to take advantage of those if you, if you begin to feel uncomfortable about it. But at this time, we're, uh, we're continuing to, uh, to do the, the same things we've been doing since uh, the end of May and, uh, and ask that, uh, you know, we, we love our neighbors and, and uh, pay attention to uh, ourselves and our surroundings and uh, so that we can continue to worship God together. Uh, last thing I want to do uh, is, uh, is to, uh, to pray for us as, uh, as we head into the weekend. So why don't you pray? Father, uh, as we prepare uh, our, our hearts, our minds, and our bodies for, uh, for Sunday worship together, uh, I pray that your Holy Spirit would fill us and that we would be awakened to the realities of your transforming love 
Uh, we want to be the people that you created us to be. We want to be like Christ. And we know that it is by your, your power that that happens. Uh, like Zephaniah says, it's not by strength, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. And so may your spirit come and, and fill us. Uh, fill us not to, uh, to hold on to it and to keep it to ourselves, but to give it away. Because we know that, that you always have more to give us. And uh, that your purpose is for us to give uh, the love of Christ away and, uh, and see more people come to know you in uh, real and transforming ways. So help us, Lord. Help us to anticipate you moving among us as we learn to pray this weekend. And, uh, and hear our cries, we pray. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Go in peace, and uh, we'll see you soon.